Yeah, hi there. And uh, these comments, I'm going to just use uh, your first letter of your name, H. So let's take a look at your situation. You say, I've been in the States for one year. My last TOEFL scores are 17 writing, 16 reading, 23 listening, 19 speaking. All right, so you say, after a year in the USA, I do not have the confidence to speak or write. I have good comprehension. When I hear a conversation between native speakers, listen to the radio or watch a TV show, I say, I could say the same sentences, my vocabulary is excellent, and my grammar's understanding qualifies me to speak fluently. You say on the other side, my pronunciation is, you say, my pain. I still have this problem. In other words, there's a gap between my comprehension and production, writing and speaking. I need a new plan to reduce the gap to get rid of being stressful in a situation that needs speaking or writing. Sometimes it takes me an hour to write a short email and I feel that I could not speak for an hour with another person. And I have the plan for you. I actually have a 60-day speaking and writing study guide that I think you can benefit from. I'm going to put the link into the comments here where you can take a look at it. So what this will do is, this will give you a chance over the next two months to complete speaking and writing practice tests, and then I will give you feedback in both of those areas. Or if I don't do it, my t teaching assistant will do it, especially with the writing. So I think we can get you going in the right direction. So part of what I'll do when you record those speaking responses, I'll let you know what types of pronunciation problems you're having, what kinds of grammar vocabulary issues you're having, and any organization and development issues that you also might be having. But I'm not done yet. And then I can recommend specific lessons in my online TOEFL course that can help you get better. You see what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to give you a, a two-step plan right now. I'm going to give you some things that I think will also help you. So, in addition to going over the lessons in my 60-day speaking and writing study guide, uh, what you can also do is to start reading maybe, your reading is not bad, right? But you can, do, you can do more reading practice. So you can do reading every day for maybe 30 or 40 minutes. You can also practice listening every day for about a half hour. Now as you do the reading and the listening practice, take down some notes. And I want you to write three summaries, 250 word summaries each week of the reading and the listening passages. That's going to help you a lot. Now, in addition to writing summaries, you should also be speaking about the reading and the listening passages that you're practicing. And if you do that, or when you do that, record yourself and make sure it's about a minute long. And after you record it, save it on your computer, and then you can listen to it. You can critique your own pronunciation, your own grammar, your own vocabulary, and then how you're organizing and developing your ideas. So, if you can follow that, if you're doing some reading listening, writing, and speaking practice, and you're also going through the lessons in my 60-day speaking and writing study guide, that is going to help decrease the gap you have right now between your production, which is writing and speaking, and then also your comprehension. You see what I'm saying? So we can close this gap. It'll take some time, it'll take some practice, but you can do this. All right, anyway, thank you very much for your comments at my blog, and all the best to your high-scoring success. And remember one thing, too, when you want to join my course, go over to onlinetoeflcourse.com and click on the link where it says um, join. All right?